Hi, I'm Saverio from Honor Plugins and today I want to show you uh, our latest plugin that is uh, a complete channel strip for uh, dedicated to the bass. It's called L3012 and uh, it's uh, the result of a collaboration uh, between us and uh, Lucy, which is uh, a bass player here in Italy that have made uh, uh, bass works with uh, an important person from all over the world, including a drummer like Dave Wickle, so it's an important uh, and a very good bass player. So he gave us directions on how to create this channel strip that includes all the tools that you need to um, create uh, a good bass sound and it can also be used live uh, since it's a zero latency plugin. I'll uh, dig right into the guy and uh, explain you uh, every single module that is included in this channel strip. So, here we are and we have uh, the input section with uh, an input gain that goes from negative 5 dB up to 65 dB, so we have a very high gain. And then we have an input pad that um, lowers the, the input level by 20 dB, so uh, you can uh, have a very wide range of input levels. Then you have a phase reversal button and the input meter. The yellow starts at negative 6 dB and the red is negative 3, so it's pretty standard. Then you have a drive section when, when that acts as a, a tube uh, um, saturation. So it's driven very high and uh, with the amount of saturation you can decide uh, the amount of distortion and we also have a dry wet knob that allows you to uh, dial back some of the sound, uh, the original sound, so you can, have a, can add grit to a dull bass sound without having to wash it. I don't know if it, if it works as a, as a word. Um, you can, of course, turn it on or off. And then you have the bass boost. That is a gentle EQ um, boost at 100 Hz. And so it gives a, a little bit more roundy uh, sound uh, if your bass is uh, too weak. Then you have a transient shaper that en enhance the attack part of the bass sound uh, if uh, it's not uh, um, attacky, attack attack let's say, enough. Uh, or if you want uh, to you have a plucked bass and you want to exaggerate the sound of the plug, for example. Uh, this is based on our Spike plugin, so it's the same algorithm uh, with a, a dedicated settings for the bass sound. Then you have the equalizer, it's a three-band equalizer. You have a, a low shelf, a high shelf, and uh, a mid-band that is fully parametric. Then you have a high-pass filter, 18 dBs for octave, and a low-pass filter, 18 dBs for octave too. So it's pretty standard uh, uh, sets of uh, EQ. And with this EQ, you can dial pretty much every sound. And you can also use the mid-frequency band to enhance uh, the tone of the bass or to remove some resonances. Then you have a compressor section that is based on the VCA 160 model of our Multicom Plus uh, MK2 uh, plugin and it's a pretty standard compressor often used on a bass and it's very uh, very controlled it gives uh, your bass a more much more controlled sound and uh, don't you don't have attack and release because you don't have uh, those controls on the original hardware unit and uh, you have a variable ratio and output gain the threshold knob also includes a view meter in the, in the circle that allows you to see when, uh, visually, when the level crosses the threshold. 
that is um, represented by this yellow line here. Of course, you have a gain reduction matter here. And the output gain is actually a trim and uh, allows you to lower the level if it's going too high. Of course, sorry, the compressor has a dry wet knob, so you can dial in some uh, of the original signal, the original sound, and uh, achieve the parallel compression effect. Of course, you have the output meter. So we also have included a couple of presets, one uh, for the just bass and the other for the precision. But I'm going, for this demonstration, I'm going to dial a sound from zero. So I'll put my headphones on and I'll let you see how this plugin can shape the sound of the bass. Okay, I would say that this is a, a quite good sound and I'm quite happy with that. We can, uh, of course, I tried to dial in the drive but it wasn't working for this application, for this uh, recording here. So uh, I think with this round sound, a little bit of transient and uh, some mid frequencies exaggerated here, so boosted and uh, it's working. I think uh, I feel it's working and I like how it sounds. Uh, with this tool, I've been able to dial uh, the complete sound from uh, beginning to the end of this bass recording. So this was uh, our L30 Wine 2 plugin. It's a bass channel and it's available for download on www.honeplugins.com. You can go on the website and try the demo before you buy. So if you like it, 
just uh, go to the buy button and uh, get it. Of course, if you have question, suggestion or anything else, write your comments down below or write us directly from the website. Thank you very much for watching the video.